What is up everybody? Welcome to this new video of Tech Express. My name is Steven and I'm going to be showing you guys how to fulfill orders with the CJ Dropshipping. So the very first thing you wanted to do once you have your Shopify file already been created, you wanted to open a new tab and open cjdropshipping.com or what you can do to make this a little bit more easier to fulfill orders is to go directly into apps. Once I find the application section, I can go and look for all recommended applications and open the section that says Shopify App Store. This one should be taking me into the actual shop that Shopify.com. So I can look out for my dropshipping supplier, which in my case is the dropshipping. So I'm going to click here. I look for that. And as you can see, here it is. So if you already have installed this, just open it. If you don't, just hit into add application. And then later on, what you wanted to do is just to hit into grant the access from CG dropshipping into your Shopify store. Once this has been successfully done, you're now going to be ready. You're now going to be inside the actual CG dropshipping. So what you want to do is to read and agree to the tools uh, store authorization equipment, hit into login and authorize, and then you're actually good to go. Once you sign it in, let's go and sign it real quick. And after you have signed it in, the authorization from your store into CJ Dropshipping should be automatically uh, successful. So how can we fulfill orders into CJ Dropshipping? The second thing you need to do in order to fulfill stuff is to have a product linked into Shopify. So let's link an actual product into Shopify so then later on we can do the actual fulfillment. So I'm going to go into uh, CJ Dropshipping brand logo section, which is in the upper side. And then here, what I want to do is to list a product uh, from CJ Dropshipping. I am not going to be focusing a lot into how we can look out for the best product yet so far. So I'm just going to do this like really, really uh, fast. So let's do, let's say uh, to QE, this one and this one as well. And there we go. So once you have successfully done that, I'm going to go into my QE list and I'm going to list all my products. So uh, once I located the product that I wanted to list into my store, I want to hit into auto listing, select all of them, and I have the auto listing. So um, this is stuff, I want to make sure that all of those stuff are not listed into my store before I submit the otherwise the listing just won't work. So when the, we make the auto listing, the connection of the products for the order synchronization, this is really important if you want to make the order fulfillment automatically, it's going to be appearing in here. As you can see, we don't have any connected product yet because we need to add the actual source. So let's go back into the listing products. I'm going to select all of them, actually, all of my products that it's into the Kiwi. And then I'm going to list those. Let's go for manual listing. The store should be this one. The product type, you wanted to add a new one. Let's say that this is like hot sale, for example. Hit now into confirmed, collection homepage, shipping method. Just leave it like that. All right, so now we do have the actual price. The price of the CJ price, you can leave that in here or you can choose recommended listing price. If you don't know anything about the original price or shipping cost, just I'm going to hit now into confirmed. So later on, we have the status here and we all we have the pending version. So just wait a few seconds here. I'm going to get now go back into my Shopify and what I wanted to do is to just uh, reload the page so you can see that your products are going to be listed right away. So how can you make the order fulfillment when somebody makes an order into your actual store? Let's say that we have this product and this order should be appearing to the upper side that says orders. So here I have the orders. I should select all the CJ dropshipping and here it should be appearing the payment of the customers and all that. So if I go back into my CJ dropshipping, what I wanted to do is to look out for products and here into products, do you want to look out for connection? Here into connection, you want to make sure that your products are uh, connected with CJ dropshipping for the automatic, or the automatic um, order fulfillment. Two ways of the product connection, the ad solution connection and the ad automation connection. The automated connection is going to be helping you to connect your store products with the CJ products really, really fast. And the sourcing connection should be connecting your store products with CJ products uh, more faster. So if I click into the ad automated connection, we do have here our actual products. So it says product from authorized store. I have the old store. Let's go for this one only. Select the store. 
I choose this one. And as you can see here, I have the association of my store. So this is the product that is into my actual store of Shopify. And this is the product that is inside the actual CK dropshipping. So as you can see, we, we do have the pin version, we have the matched one. And as you can see here, the actual price that I'm selling this product. And this is the actual price that is going to be selling inside CJ Dropshipping. So I'm going to hit now into my listed and make sure that I have all my products that have already been listed before I make the order fulfillment. So I'm going to hit down into my QE. As you can see, I have nothing on the QE list. I have the full products already been added. I'm going to go back into my store. I'm going to hit into my products. And there we go. The full products that we have just added are automatically, um, let's say, added from the CGA dropshipping. So I just wanna make sure that I have the connection of the order fulfillment. Now let's go into connection and uh, there we go. So as you can see now I have one, two, three, four products. Here is my store product and here is my TJ product. This is the reason why I do the, automa the automation of the list from a product inside my actual Shopify store because the order fulfillment should be due with, uh, automatically. So I didn't have to do absolutely anything. So as you can see, here's my store product, the CJ drop shipping product. And here I have a link that says connect or disconnect. So let's say for example, that I wanted to look out for another CJ product to make the actual order fulfillment. So let's go and click here and I have the CJ fulfillment. So if I click here, I have this feature is only applied to Shopify. Fulfilled by CJ, you want to enable yes. So inventory managed by CJ, you want to go for yes. So as you can see, this one is like we have to make sure that we have enabled the inventory sync on our Shopify authorization tab. After that, I'm gonna hit now into confirmed. So it says syncing. Please wait a moment here. And what you want to do is to do exactly the same thing with all the other th third um, products. So I'm gonna hit down in here and I have the CJ fulfillment. I enable, I enable, and I hit into confirmed. Just in case that there was some kind of like an error and you wanted to do this manually, what you want to do is to make the connection manually. So let's say for example, that this one is not connected right away, so I'm gonna remove the packaging here. I hit into confirmed. Uh, I'm gonna go into add sourcing connection. And here into add sourcing, what I want to do is to start with an actual sourcing request. So I choose my store, I choose the product tag, I choose the product title, and here I want to look out for the product I wanted to make the list for. For example, the, in, in this case is the mini th thermal uh, label printed. So I'm gonna click here, I hit into submit. There we go, the submission has now been successfully added. So I have here the sourcing ID, the style, the status, the product, the image, the SKU, and all of that. So this one, the post solution request should be not taking so long. So you can go into your actual dashboard and check it out, this one has been successfully done. This is how guys, we can actually make the fulfillment order inside TJ drop shipping. When somebody makes an order inside our store, this order automatically is going to be appearing here into my CJ drop shipping inside order section, which says the order fulfillment. It should be appearing in here. And what you just need to do is to approve the order fulfillment and the process should be doing automatically. So with that being said, guys, I think we have now reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools of how you can do some dropshipping into CJ dropshipping from your Shopify store. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and hopefully I can see you on the next video.